And we are the glass bead. Stolen treasure from the abyss. What did we get? Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the... Number one, let me look at this. The glass bead milestone if you're in expedition. Now, in expedition mode, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff. The uh, goal of the glass bead milestone is to acquire an abyssal treasure, and usually these are underwater. I've seen a lot of people mentioning that they've got it from random encounters in space. They've also done buried treasure and they've gotten it. That is a random occurrence and we can't count on that. It's not a guarantee way to get it. So if you want to know the easiest way to guarantee that it's going to happen, this is going to be the guide for you. So as you can see, I've also hit the fifth rendezvous. So this is the last rendezvous I've hit. After you complete all the rendezvous, they start giving you different missions. Like you can do the Atlas Seed missions. You can also, for what, let me show you. You can also get the Dreams of the Deep missions. Now, this these go hand in hand with the Glass Bead. So I would highly recommend doing that because the Dreams of the Deep makes it so much easier to get a submarine. That way you can search underwater for treasures. Now, you don't have to go that route. If you want to go the hard way, you don't have to do Dreams of the Deep at all. All you have to do is land on the space anomaly and head on back here. I'm going to show you both ways to do it. Now, Dreams of the Deep is way easier because they give you everything through a tutorial because it's basically showing you how to use the submarine. You don't have to do any of that stuff. So when you come back here, the first thing you want to get is over here under the uh, base building kiosk, you will be able to go over to your uh, exomex, like your exocraft tab. So let's go over here or transportation modules, whatever you want to call it. And they have something called the Nautilin Chamber. This is for your submarine, so you can buy this outright. You can buy this from the beginning of the game if you wanted to. You just have to make it to the space anomaly. So let's buy that. It's going to be 10 salvage data, so keep that in mind. 10 salvage data for that. Oh, wait, sorry. You have to get the roamer first. Wow. They, they put the tree up there, so you need four for that. Yes, thank you. And then they'll let you buy the Nautilin Chamber. I forgot about the tree. Sorry about that. So now we can get the Nautilin Chamber for 10. So total, there might be 14 salvage data. So keep that in mind, all right? Now you have the submarine, which is the basics. It's all you really need. You will want to, to make it a little easier, go over here to the Exo Mech or the Exo Craft Guy kiosk. Because he'll sell you upgrades for your submarine. So while we're here, let's get the upgrades. So all, you know, these are all the upgrades for all your different ones. The ones for the submarine are over here on the left. The Humboldt Drive is your engine. That's unlocked by default. But you have your upgrades. Like, you want your high-powered sonar? You definitely want that. It makes it easier to search for treasure. So you're going to need 10 nanites for that, which is really cheap. So we have our 10 nanites. We're good on that. And then, let's go back in there. I hate that it kicks you out every single time, but it does. That's okay. So then you can buy all the other upgrades if you want. You can get the uh, Osmo Osmotic Generator, which helps actually recharge your uh, engine with fuel. So, okay. In the event of fuel emergencies. We can get that. I always recommend doing that. Or you can recharge. It's almost like the, uh, the recharger for your starship. It will slowly trickle in fuel if you need it so well, let's get that one why do you kick me out every time the uh the mining laser for your submarine you could totally get that that way you don't have to get out to mine stuff you could just use the laser on your submarine and because it keeps kicking us out we'll only get one more that way we just stop doing that the nautilon cannon nautilon cannon which is the cannon for the submarine let's do that so now that we have all the technology for our submarine, and we can build our submarine uh, kiosk, or our submarine uh, base. I don't know. Oh, God, what do we call it? I don't even remember what it was called. But now we can build the uh, summon for our submarine. So let's go find a water planet, all right? So now that you're in space, you would be looking for a planet that has a whole bunch of water. So you're going to look for a planet that looks like that. You see that? So, you can just tell from space that this has a lot of water on it. There's some small land masses, but the majority of this planet is water. 
That's what you're looking for. You can land there and search for it. Since I'm doing my Dreams of the Deep missions at the same time, it'll be easier just to highlight this. It'll mark the area you need to go to. So actually, it wants me to go to this one. Not over here, which is kind of weird, but okay. Let's head over here to this one. So we're getting close to the coordinates where the radio transmission is coming from. Let's land here. Oh, come on. Land. Anytime. Now, there we go. Really? It's literally making me go all the way over here. The landing in this game since the uh, Expeditions update has really messed up. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, that's where I needed to go anywhere. So, this is an abandoned building. This is where the radio broadcast is coming from. Let's go get this one done really fast. Get in here. Log 2015F. Breach event plus 407 souls. If you are listening, you have likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others you may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice there's... The stranger has left behind an upgrade module for the aeration membrane. So here we go, collect the upgrade module. I take the upgrade module. Its installation history contains the serial number of its owner, Starship. Perhaps I ought to follow. So you get a, a free upgrade for your, your underwater upgrade, so we should totally do that. I already have one up here. So you see it's in there, boom. It's gonna tell you to install it, so I installed it, we're good. Perform a scan to search for the previous owner. Star signal, or starship signal trace established. Where is it at? I don't even know where it is. Let's go up into space. Maybe it'll show us. Oh, there it is. And it's probably the planet we just came from. The water planet. But let's go back. Because we're trying to do that uh, storyline as well. So it's going to take us back and forth. Yep, that's the planet we were on. Great, thank you. Well, now that we're closer, we can actually see. Here it is. The stranger's uh, starship is under the water. So let's land. And this is where we can build our submarine. That way we can start our search for the glass bead. So let's actually do that. So if you go into your build menu, hit up on your D-pad or your build menu, whatever button that is for you. Go over to your exocraft and we can summon the... Let's look at it. Nautilin chamber. Oh, we need four metal plating. Four crystal sulfide, which I already grabbed beforehand, and a hundred salt. So I need to make some metal plating real fast. Four of them. There we go. Now, I believe it needs to be made underwater. So, you know, because it's a submarine, of course. It is underwater. Oh, I needed five. Let's make one more. I thought it said four, but I guess it's five. Let's build that. There we go. So there's a submarine. Boom. Let's get in here. Not enough fuel in the humble drive. That's okay. Let's see if we can make some fuel here. That's frigate fuel. We cannot... We don't get the recipe right off the bat. Okay, that's a problem. So you do get it in the storyline for the um, Dreams of the Deep. So ugh, we're probably going to have to wait on that. All right. So let's do... Let's put on our, our high-powered sonar, which is one solar mirror, three crystal sulfide, and 50 ferrite dust. Boom. Let's build that real fast. And then maybe we can make our generator as well, our uh, osmotic generator. We have everything there. We need 150 chromatic metal, six living pearls, and two solar mirrors. So this will recharge our fuel for our, uh, our submarine. Come on. Oh, no, it does not recharge it. It just gives you make, makes you more fuel efficient. Oh, man. When did they change all that? All right. So we don't have any of this stuff. So our submarine is kind of messed right now. Thankfully, we're doing our storyline, so we'll be able to do this. So we're over here. So that's another new thing. We have to use our sweep mode. So there you go. Now we know this is where we're, our radio broadcast is coming from. Well, let's go over there. Thankfully, they gave us a... Uh, an underwater upgrade. That way we can breathe underwater a little bit better. Up oh, over here. Okay, there we go. Just pull it out every once in a while to uh, scan for the distress signal. 
Man, okay, and while we're going, let's say mine some of this stuff. So cytophosphate, let's get some of that. Well, you know you're gonna need some of that. I think you make you need that for the fuel anyway. So let's do that real fast. Now, I would say you probably could do this without doing the Dreams of the Deep storyline, but it sounds like no, because you won't have any, uh... You will not have any fuel for your submarine, because you, they don't teach you that until you've done this storyline, so, oh, Cytophosphate, wow, that's kind of gross. It's a big, throbbing, weird-looking thing. Oh, let's do it. We gotta scan it to make sure we know- Oh, God, really? So there we go, and there's the ship that they had. And because this is where they were trying to build a base, you can actually go right in here and get some air back if you want to. So go right in here. Boom, you can breathe now. Just to catch your breath and go back out here because we need to see what's going on. Log 3A, breach event plus four souls. So this is the beginning. We saw the last message. This is the first message they had. Most of the crew are dead. Only those of us already suited up when the asteroid hit survived the initial decompression. We were lucky that smaller starships were able to get clear before the hull imploded. None of our ships have hyperdrive capability. We should be able to retrieve the blueprints from the freighter's main data bank, though it appears to have crashed in the deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have the plans for the Nautilin. Download the plan, so you would get it for free instead of going to the Space Anomaly. You would get it free here. There we go, we got our plans to build the Nautilin Chamber. We're good. So we just did that. Oh, I should have saved it and built it down here. I didn't even think about that. Let's actually see if this damaged machinery, this might give us an upgrade. Or it gives us Starship Fuel, that's okay. I should have brought the uh, Nautilin back down here. Let's go back over and, and get it. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought about that. I could call it in because I already built it. Let's call that baby in here. So, boom, right there. So, we've built it. Now we're good. Let's actually get inside. Not enough fuel in the Humboldt Drive. All right. Now it should teach us. All right. While well, browsing the craft menu, there you go. So, now we, now we know. Now we have the recipe. It is so weird how they don't give you the recipe when you buy the Nautilin chamber, but when you learn it, it you ought to, it's a weird, I bet you that's a bug, that's a glitch. But now we can make it, so let's make some fuel. We'll make five and put that in there. Oh, yeah. oh, we only need one. One fuel resupplies the whole thing. Okay, so we're good to go. Well, now we have fuel. There you go. So now we have our cool submarine. I love it. Explore the depths and search for signs of the stranger's expedition. Let's put on a uh, our technology. So let's get our uh, Nautilin cannon. No, no, we'll do our beam real fast. Oh, we need one more, two more living pearls. So let's actually scan real fast for living pearls. I'm not seeing anybody. I'm not seeing anybody. So, what we also can do, now that we have fuel, is we can actually look for the glass speed. So if you go to your... We have our uh, high-powered sonar installed. And once you do that, you hit down in your D-pad, you can use your high-powered sonar. And you can look for drowned ships. You can look for crashed freighters. You can look for sunken buildings. And you can look for submerged ruins. The ruins are what you're looking for, so let's scan for that real fast. Submerged ruin detected. It's way over here. It is three minutes over on this direction, so let's head on over. Oh, before we go anywhere else, guys, I want to show you guys this. So let's get out. We have to go after these abyssal horrors as well, because we're going to need their eye. And so you'll see it just sitting out here. Look at the eye. Yep. Oh. You can only damage them when they actually start attacking you like that. Pick up that eye real fast. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And so there we go. We got a hypnotic eye. So, on your travels, while you're searching for these uh, ruins, you might run into a few of those, so I would recommend... I know it's faster to get out and to, uh, fly there in your starship, but it will benefit you to go underwater because you can pick up resources. Like, you can pick up the salt, the, the uh, 
the uh, chloroform, not chloroform, what is it called? <laughs> not chloroform, uh, chlorine. Chlorine is what you're looking for. Also, your, uh, your cytophosphate. You're also looking for a lot of the living pearls and the crystal sulfides for your upgrades. And so you might as well just go along the ocean floor and look for them. Alrighty, so here we are. We're at our submerged ruin. Right here, let's get out and let's go over here. Destination reached. All right, so let's talk to the submerged ruin and let's see what it wants. What is going to happen over here? All right, come on. Oh, there it is. I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger before the ancient altar. It flows closer, the water rushing about me, demanding that I listen to its tale, like, except the waves. I went down to the beach today. There's something about the sea at this time of year. It draws you in, distorts your sense of time. Salty frost on stubby grass, the sand blowing off the tops of the dunes. No one else for miles. People love the sound of waves, but it takes gray skies and high winds to really feel it, to understand their never-ending crash. And the drum they beat upon the land makes me shiver. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides. As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key, perfect despite its age. So we got an ancient key from this one, a trident key. Which is okay, we weren't looking for that. We need a bead, but we'll take a key for this one. So what you can do is you can unlock these cool chests underneath the ground. So let's actually dig down in here. It's a sealed chest. Let's get our, our goodies out of here. And we need an ancient key. And we're gonna need an, a living, or a pearl. Okay, a living pearl, we got that. Thankfully, because we were under the water, we were able to go through. And we got a rare item, a strangely warm glass bead. Done. So that is not the glass bead we were looking for. That's a little upsetting. That's okay, though. So now we need to go find another ancient ruin. So we need to get into our submarine, and we will look for another ancient ruin. Get in here. And remember, down on your D-pad to go to your high-powered sonar. And we're looking for a submerged ruin. Submerged ruin detected. It is where... Over here, seven minutes away. So this is going to be a while. So I will see you guys when we get there. Yeah, looky here, guys. We are at our second ruin, our submerged ruin. So let's go down there. And let's see what this one will give us. Come on. Something amazing. I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger before the ancient altar. It flows closer. The water rushing about me, demanding that I listen to its tale. I feel like this is meant to be a series, and so you're supposed to go through. Don't reset or anything like that. I think that the story keeps going, so you have to go through multiple different altars in order to get to your glass bead. The shore walks I have become a habit now, a daily ritual. I've walked for miles, treading the sand, crunching shells beneath my feet, searching for another pebble like that first. I've gotten faster, more efficient. I don't need the sun anymore. My torch does just as well, sweeping the rocks, searching for that flicker of light, some hope of the reflected perfection. The only thing that stops me now is the tide, and I almost didn't notice that last night. The salty water around my ankles brought me around. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides. As I, as the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key. Perfect, despite its age. So we got another one. We got another key. Let's see what the uh, treasure is. The treasure's down here. So again, you can go down here and just dig it up. You're probably going to need a living pearl. That's why you want to stay in your submarine and get those pearls on the way. I have one, yes. And we have our key. Let's see what we get out of here. Softly glowing jelly. Wow, okay, glowing jelly. So there we go. That's 122. This one's 657, okay. So those are almost like cool little treasures you can get. But we haven't found our glass bead yet, so let's scan for another one. Well, and we're coming up on our third uh, submerged ruin. Let's get out and 
Go see what's going on. This is number three. I don't know how many it takes, but three seems like a good number, right? Third time's a charm, hopefully. I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger. I know, I've heard this. Accept the waves. Great. I've surveyed uncountable millions, but there's nothing. All other rocks look so drab and dull, so lifeless, so damaged. No matter how deep I go, there's never anything to match it. I see whole world, stars, reflected in its brilliance. I know there must be more out there. I pull back and it goes and it gives me a key. So maybe it's not in that. I've heard that it's supposed to be in there, but let's get our, oh no, of course. Yeah, let's mark this one and let's dig and get our cool uh, item out of our sealed chest. Trident key and one living pearl. Got it. Uh, historian, okay, we have a historian. Haunted pearls, those don't count? Come on. Nope, they don't count as our glass bead. So let's use our, oh yeah, let's go down. Let's scan for another uh, submerged ruin. Let's go, number four. Where are you at? Oh, you're in this direction. Number four, over here. So let's hit it. Oh, here's our next ruin. Number four, please. Lucky number four, I'm hoping. Let's get over here. Let's see what's going on. Come on. There we go. I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder. Okay, always the same. Accept the waves again. No, okay. I found it. It took me days, but I found it. The worst day since I left the surface. I missed it so much. The fault was mine. When I found it, it was still as perfect as the day I found it. By my eyes, something is changing. I'm so glad it's back. Oh, I think we're getting closer. It feels like the story is getting closer. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subs subsides. Excuse me. Got my trident key and here, let's unlock the sealed chest again. Oh, wait a minute, I switched when I didn't need to. A living pearl and a trident key. What do we get this time? We got a soggy ring. A soggy ring. E. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, I always wanted to go in there, but we need to just go down and use our high powered for submerged ruin. All right, where did it go? And here we are. Hopefully we can get in here. Hopefully this is the one. Lucky number five. I'm pretty sure five. So let's see if we're going to get the uh, use the hypnotic eye or just get some keys going. The voice speaks, but the words no longer make sense. Whatever song the new sea, the sea now sings, it does so in a tongue beyond my comprehension. And we make an offering of a hypnotic eye. And we are the glass bead stolen treasure from the abyss. What did we get? We got the forlorn orb. That is what they're looking for. A terrifying sample. Okay. So that is it. It took me five. I've heard that it can take you five to seven different uh, ancient ruins, submerged ruins. So that is how you would get it. So let's actually accept it. What do you get? You get an efficient water jet plan, void egg, salt times 512, and supreme submarine drive upgrade. Oh, look at this. Efficient water jets, yes. And now that we have our submarine, we have our S-Class upgrades. Let's install these babies. There you go. And it just makes your engine go faster. So let's move this stuff out of the way. Yeah, you get out of the way. It doesn't doesn't actually... Okay, so, so they don't give each other a boost. Okay. That's very weird. You'd think that it would, but it doesn't. And I mean, yeah, they don't even they don't even give each other a, an upgrade. Okay. But I still like putting them where they need to be just in case something happens. A Humboldt updrive upgrade. Okay. But the better thing is, look at this, guys. You get a free void egg for getting the glass bead milestone. I love that. And so you can look at the living ship 
uh, plans that I have. It is so amazing. You're going to get a, a living ship now for free just for completing the milestone. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I'll see you guys next time.